Hey, sir, good morning to you. I hope you are from Zimbabwe. So, with regards to the P1622, what you have to do is you have to take off the engine uh, cover first. And then, uh, obviously, you have to take off uh, this bracket as well. Also, there are two balls here. It's number 12 millimeter. And uh, two from this side as well, right? Take it off. And then, you can reach to the uh, top of the injector. So, uh, just zoom it out and then note down all four injectors so these are the uh, numbers that you can see here i don't get the clear patient here but you know you have to uh, do a real uh, close up and then note down all the digits starting from uh, uh, d0 d3 you know it, it depends and then once you have that records go back to the scanner uh, from the scanner Select the uh, ECM, which is engine control module, and click enter. It can be depend on what scanner you're using, but uh, end of the day, the module is the same. And click on special function. And here you can click on uh, enter injector calibration data. So by mistake, your, te your technician must have clicked on the injector uh, adjust valve clear. So that was the reason the configuration has been uh, erased. So you have to click on enter injector calibration data and click copy to proceed. And here are the uh, the numbers that you have uh, that you have uh, marked down. So this is the existing one. So it has. Uh, uh, the four cylinders having so every cylinder is having uh, each injector so these are the code that you have to take for example just you know uh, select one and then here click on uh, cylinder one and here you need to enter all the digits uh, what you have uh, not done from the top of the injector head and click ok in my case I'm not going to do that so once just done so you can uh, you can register them individually or you can register all of them at once once you registered all the numbers here so better to do it uh, individually so once you have entered the numbers here consider this is the uh, number that is reflecting on your uh, injector and click start here or some scanners you will say uh, commit and it will take some time to uh, process so once that's done so it is being registered so when you uh, go back and then click uh, the same uh, functions again you will be able to see uh, such as this screen so that is the reason so if you uh, in your existing one you probably don't see any of these values i hope this is very informative for you